Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Thursday, the 8th day of June 2023. Open your mouth this morning and let me pray for you and bless you today. I want to pray for a change of garment for somebody this morning. The Lord is going to change your garment, the garment of sickness you have been putting on, the garment of debt, the garment of backwardness, garment of sorrow, and an ugly news. <clears throat> this morning, by the mandate of the Lord, I remove all those garments from your body and I replace it with garment of happiness and rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, I am praying for you this morning that the evil garment that enemy have given you and over the years you have been putting it on, by the mandate of the law, by the authority of the great God. From today, you will no longer wear the evil garment again in Jesus' name. Somebody's evil garment is not seen at all. It is spiritual. So I am praying for you in the name of the Lord that every satanic and demonic garment that you are putting on in the spirit that is making physical helpers to run away from you, by the mandate of heaven, I destroy those evil garments in Jesus' name. Every mark of the devil upon your house, upon your, your life, your spouse, and everyone that is connected to you, evil marks, I, hear, I hereby remove and terminate them in Jesus' name. I am praying for you today that God will cause a son, a son of righteousness to shine upon you and your loved ones today. In Jesus' name. Everyone that will be traveling today being Thursday, I pray that your journey will end in praise. The enemy shall have no power to double-cross you. In Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen, I believe, as I receive. Praise God. To God be the glory. This Thursday morning, I want us to read our Bible again. We are going to be reading the book of 2 Corinthians, I mean 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 4. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 4. Yesterday we read chapters 1 and 2. Today we are going to be reading uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and chapter 4. God bless us. Let me take some testimonies and then before we continue to hear the word. The first one is a confirmation uh, about the ongoing teaching that we are doing that says there are consequences. This person says, I just, I just thank God for the grace upon your life, sir. I am neck deep in debt. I play Lotto and Naira, and Naira Bet too. I just felt God will use it to bless me so that I will be able to pay my debts. I never knew it was a sin. I will stop it today. Thank you very much, sir, for opening my eyes to so many things. Praise God. That is somebody. You see, God can never use unholy means, brother. He can never use unholy means or sinful means to bless you. He said he was thinking that maybe God could use that avenue of betting to help him pay his bills and to get out of debt. No, it doesn't work that way. God will do it for you in a clean and in a proper way, in Jesus' name. Now, another testimony. There are several testimonies here. This one says, Good afternoon, Reverend Eniola. I want to testify about your word of knowledge on the 31st of May, 2023. Yesterday being 31st, my wife called me to orally take her home, that she has just received a call from home that our five-month-old baby was gasping for breath. As we were approaching home, I started playing the devotional of the day, praying along with you as you were counseling evil emergency that can make us cry through loss of property, loved ones, and all premature death. As we were rushing to the, as we were rushing to the hospital, my spirit asked me to see my pastor first. On getting there, he merely anointed him and asked my wife to dip the tip of her finger in a jar of honey and place it in, his, in the child's mouth. 
Within minutes, the dying child started reviving and became stable. The pastor calmly told us to take the child home, that the devil is just running to fight to frighten us and waste our resources, but that God has already intervened even before coming to him, that the only was just to help our faith like drugs being administered since he saw our faith seriously shaking. The child is playing now normally as I write this testimony to God be the glory. I'm so so person from Benin City. Praise God. To God be the glory. That child will leave. Another one is here. Good evening, Daddy and your love, please, sir. This is my second testimony on this platform. On the 30th of April, you welcome us to May and capture it month of supernatural grace. On the 2nd of May, I received an unknown call. Behold, it was my extended sister that I helped over 32 years ago and asked me to send my account details to her. Lo and behold, she sent me 50,000 naira as, as a result of your prayers that day, which you said, those that have forgotten us will remember and locate us again. Please sir, share my testimony as the God of Reverend Eniola, the mighty God in battle has remembered me. You will neither faint nor fail. You, you will neither faint nor fail, truthful man of God. You will live to fulfill your destiny here on earth and in heaven. Amen. To God be the glory. Praise be the name of the Lord. Now let's go to hear the word. Let's take a look and check the word of God. Uh, since on Monday, we've been looking at the word I titled, There are consequences. There are consequences for whatever you do or what you fail to do. I said it and I want to say it again. The reason why some people's hearts are bent on continuing doing evil is because those that they saw that did it before were not punished for it. So if you are anywhere you are anywhere you are this morning and you are hearing me, beware because there are consequences for your actions or inaction. We have spoken about you know those who are not married but that are using contraceptive pills to prevent pregnancy. You are, the, you, the, the consequences will come one day. We have spoken about those that are playing betting. You just heard this one. This person said he never knew that betting was wrong. He was thinking that God could use that means to help him to offset his bills. That is wrong mentality. Also, we, we've talked about a married man or woman that is engaging in extramarital affairs, there are consequences that will follow for you. Today, I want to say a student who refuses to read and prepare for exams, but relying on Expo, there are consequences. Are you a student? Instead of you to sit properly, you know, read your books and prepare for your exams, you don't do that, but you are, you are moving up and down you know, getting ready to get Expo or what have you, there are consequences that will follow. And I want to tell you that the consequence, one of the consequences that will follow that action is total failure. And I'm sure you wouldn't want to fail. So if you don't want to fail, if you don't want to blame yourself tomorrow, stop, uh, stop living a wayward life. Whatever is not uh, uh, assigned to you, Whatever is not given to you, don't take it. There are consequences for all our actions. I am praying for you today that the Lord will prevail over your life. I pray that you will not take any wrong step. I pray that you will not fall into the trap of the wicked ones today. And I pray that this day, the Lord will bless you and it will increase you. You are blessed. Please remember, to read this Thursday, please remember to read the last two chapters of the book of 2 Timothy today, chapter 3 and chapter 4. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a glorious day. Amen.